Aloha, it's 365Y. With Eric and Julie Zemelis, and behind us is sadly a burnt out part of Spencer Beach Park here uh, in North Kahala. And it's part of the fires that actually started up on August 8th. And uh, it was spurred by winds from uh, Hurricane Dora that actually was passing hundreds of miles south. But now here we are with the burnt out forest and a little bit more information about what happened in Maui. Right, so I think the first thing we should talk about is, is uh, of this video is how can we help? I mean, that's of course the first one. So uh, Julie, you had some organizations that you might be able to recommend that we that were brought up to us that would be good to, uh, good to help with. Right, so, um, Right now, just so you guys know, um, North Kahala, South Kahala, Big Island is safe. Fires are mostly out, um, little spots, but uh, Maui, that's that's where they need the help right now. Um, you know, eight, eight to 11,000 residents are displaced. Um, so uh, what they're finding is that over the last few days, people have been donating things. So they've got bags and bags of clothes. They don't have any way to actually distribute that. So what they're asking for is donations. So we know that you guys are an amazing community of 365 fans on this channel. So if you could think about donating here's a few things you guys can do and we'll go ahead and just you know, give you some information too the hawaii um community foundation maui strong so that is the community fund that is going to be directly giving resources to the people who need it most um also people are saying that the hawaii um food bank i think it's maui a food bank and i'll get you guys that information um is definitely looking for donations because they're trying to feed everybody and what's happening is that some people are um, donating food that is perishable and what they're trying to do is figure out a way to get it so that it's into different places where uh, people who are donating opportunities to cook it can work with it but not in a way that's going to perish then there also is the um uh, United Way is taking funds, the Red Cross is taking funds, um, and also Project Hawaii, which works with homeless children in the islands, is also working with the homeless people as well. So um, lots of places where you can put your donations. Uh, more and more GoFundMe accounts are coming out with people who've lost their homes. But if you don't know someone specifically and just want to make sure that you know, you're giving out um, aloha and um, really you know, resources where they're needed, um, please donate to those organizations. There you go. And uh, it's interesting. We we know a few of these different uh, different individuals that have it, and there are the, the GoFundMe. It's 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 sad to hear uh, you know our friends that are putting out these GoFundMe that need help on top of it. Right, and they're telling people be careful of fraud um, and donating to places that are not you know reputable. Yeah. So I'm going to tell you guys the Hawaii Community Fund, Maui Strong. They have it, this is so awesome, you guys. Within the first like eight hours, they had a million dollars donated, um, but it's not enough. Um, we were just listening to uh, Josh Green say that there is going to be five point five billion dollars. Yeah, so re re to rebuild, that is a lot of money. For, right, you know, and for you guys, seriously, um, th we saw the map of the houses that were burned down. How many structures? Uh, uh, there was twenty two hundred structures that burned down during that fire. Right. right? So um, there's a, a, at least eight thousand residents that are that are displaced right now. And um, what's happening also is what the Maui what we're seeing from like TikTok and the people who actually live in Maui. Um, they're basically saying, please don't come to Maui. They, yeah, they tourists do. Yeah, yeah, they're completely overwhelmed. I think people don't understand how how uh, small the island is. You know, you kind of think it's like a big city, and the answer is like even we that want to help here on Hawaii Island, we can't because there's no easy way to get over there. And right. you know, and there's not, no place for us to stay even if we wanted to. They're basically using a lot of the different. Um, uh, I, I I think that they're trying to use some of the uh, hotels to help dis help the displaced. But I heard a lot of people are actually living in their cars. Yeah. So um, it's it's a horrible experience right now in uh, Maui um, around Lahaina, and um, but I will say you guys just because everyone's been posting pictures of themselves standing underneath the banyan tree. Yeah. Um, that uh, one of my friends actually on this island, Ricky Pizona, who is a um, professional um, arborist and. Uh, plant lover, um, he was tapped to uh, figure out how they can save the banyan tree in Maui. And um, what they decided is that um, it needs a lot of water mm -hmm. and it needs not to be uh, touched for a little bit. Wait six months, they're going to do a little trimming and see if it comes back. But the prognosis for that tree is actually pretty good. Yep, um, it got, should make it. Yeah. So in fact, if you're looking around what we're doing, um, the fire came through and basically burned off the top of the trees, but not the base roots of them. So um, that's good news for that tree because I know a lot of people, when they think of Lahaina, think of that banyan tree but I just want you guys also to remember that a lot of people live there and uh, they no longer have their home so again if you guys can donate that'd be fantastic so um so anyway so we're gonna also talk to you guys about what happened here on Big Island because as Eric and I always talk about there's no news crew <laughs> running around showing people what the heck happened and so people are marked themselves safe from the Maui fire uh, but they live on Big Island because everyone keeps asking them are you okay from the fire so right. again Big Island is okay uh, Kahala definitely um, has some scorch marks and we'll show those to you but we are so blessed that we didn't have any structures and homes and people affected um you know but our first responders help make that happen so uh, sh 
shout out to uh, Big Island and uh, Hawaii County for our first responders for doing such a good job of uh, avoiding loss of life and property. Well, this looks like where the firefighters kind of had a stand here. Um, this is like an old um, base of a uh, foundation of a building a long time ago. And you can see behind me, this is where the burn all burned through here. All up there. In fact, we just saw an emergency vehicle to kind of do, so still doing sweeps through here to clean up the, the, the hot spots. Um, but the smell in the air too, definitely burned. Here we are at uh, Spencer Beach Park and we are actually kind of sad to see that this big old tree got blown down. Um, as you might, have, I don't know if you guys knew this, but when we had the winds come up this last week, um, they were like 50, 60 mile an hour winds that were blowing through um, Saddle Road through Kauai High um, here in uh, North Kahala. And um, we are right behind us actually, you can see the burn scars across the whole hillside. We'll show those to you. But um, to pour, you know, take this poor tree down, you know, it's uh, it's it's what we deal with when we have uh, the winds that came in from uh, Hurricane Dora. Okay, as you guys can see behind me, this is the brush fire part of the fire. And there's a lot of acreage that got burned here just to put things in perspective. I mean, it's like the, this whole part that we can see has been burned. Yeah. Uh, and this was, again, all the grass that was out there, you know, a little grass that got burned. And it actually made it all the way down to the ocean and burned out a few of the trees down there. So the whole trail going down to Maumee Beach is closed. Yeah, in fact, uh, we were just, we saw another hiker out there and uh, he was here um, when um, this kind of experience happened in 2011 as well right. and burned all the trees down at Mau Mau Beach and uh, they never quite came back. So um, so the, the question is why, you know, everybody thinks, well, if it's why island? How can it burn like it does? And the answer to that question is, is that the island is sort of divided into two halves, right? The dry side and the wet side, right? And uh, this, of course, is the dry side and also kind of known as the Kona side, right? Which is the, the more uh, less Less, less weather is what it is. <laughs> you mean less moisture. <laughs> less moisture. <laughs> uh, yeah, just so you guys know, um, Kona is a term for dry side. So all the islands have a Kona side of the island. So that's why it's called Kailua Kona as the name of the town, not right. just Kona. So, so example, you wouldn't see huge wildfires in Pune just because if it rains every day, everything is greener than green. It just isn't going to happen. But this, it, it doesn't get much rain out here. It's, I mean, it's definitely has that that desert. And that's what's interesting about the the Big Island. It has so many. Well, all islands have so many different microclimates, right? And yeah. you drive like example. If we drive this way, you're going to come. We're on the dry side, then you make this corner, and there's literally a line, and then all of a sudden everything turns green again. That's where yeah. all the water comes, and it just doesn't go past that thing. Just the way the winds blow the like the clouds. Yeah, that's up near uh, Havi. Yep. Um, but also um, the uh, wind is a, a major factor. And what happens that, you know, people don't understand this sometimes. If you're going on Saddle Road, um, there is the uh, Mauna Kea, Mauna Loa, creating two, two a mountains, wind tunnel. Kind of, a, then it comes down. So the cold wind comes whipping down there and creates some some serious wind, right? Right, and then that, with especially combined with what's happening lately, we just have dry, it's and just dry we had, and hot. And we had a fire here uh, and it was uh, 2021 and it was the Waikoloa fire and it burned 40,000 acres up in this neck of the woods. Right. And again, the winds, f f uh, you know, fuel that one as well right. you know wind dry condition and wind yes it definitely makes yeah. sense so when they say in fact you know it's funny that right before we went we, we just got back from a, a, a rather hot vacation in las vegas and um i put up a wind advisory because they did say this wind was coming because hurricane dora uh, was passing to the south of the island and they said that we were going to have like 40 50 mile an hour winds and there was 50 60 mile an hour winds and all it takes is one ignition source and i don't know exactly what caused all this um but um it's almost like as soon as they say that something's going to happen everyone cringes and, yeah, when it's because, hot and windy boy it can catch fire really quickly yeah you know, whether it be yeah. a power line that's down or yep. a car that drives over the right the when they brush. call it you know yeah, sometimes you have like you back up and you're yeah. Yeah. sometimes can spark a fire yeah uh, but I'm um, again again the whole thing too is that we are so lucky looking out this way uh, the fact that kids are still playing in the playground right now and there's a whole family experience over there and picnicking and jumping on the beach um, the fact that they saved the beach park was pretty awesome so yeah, for right, the first yeah. responders you could actually see the, the the fire coming around it, it got up to the edge of the beach and stopped so all the structures are still okay here and the, you know all the trees that are you know having campers on it and they're still having campers going on like nothing happened it's great yeah yeah so um again your first responders are your best friends and things like this. And again, kudos, kudos to uh, the county uh, fire uh, help. But also, um, just so you guys know that uh, when there is these kinds of uh, warnings with wind and dryness, if you're on these islands, um, definitely keep your eyes open for evacuation orders. Um, and, you know, make sure you're watching what's happening with civil defense. And, um, you know, just uh, be very, very open to listening to what's happening on the radio and stuff. I know these guys uh, were evacuated um, and they had plenty of warning, thank goodness. Um, and they evacuated Kahala Ranch and uh, lots of parts of Pai Hai. Um, so, um, you know, it just, you guys, be fire safe.
Okay, so whenever we come to Kahala Coast, we always gotta hit Kahala Burger and Taco. Uh, best burger. Um, so um, we wanted to talk to Carrie uh, Peterson and his son Connor about what their experiences were because they live right here in Kahala and not too far from this restaurant. So uh, let's see what happened with their experiences. We woke up about five th that morning um, to the smell of smoke and kind of, you know, it's always kind of a, a, a skittish feeling, right? Especially in the area we live down here uh, when you wake up to that smell, right? We waited around 11. Uh, from what I know, uh, almost everybody's houses are okay in Kohala. Um, I, I, I heard of, you know, maybe a, a roof collapsing somewhere in Kohala Ranch, but um, in the like driveway area, the house was oh. relatively unaffected. How fast were the winds going? How the hell was that? How was that? How was that? How was so that? there were reports of, you know, 80 mile an hour gusts throughout that morning. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, uh, that's kind of when you have those two factors of the wind and, and the fire, you're kind of in in God's hands at that <laughs> point, right? Um, you just have to hope and pray that it, it, one of those embers doesn't land in your backyard. Yeah. You know? Well, I got a, a memory from Facebook. This time last year, almost to the day, it, we had fires burning in, yeah, in, in, uh, in Mykoloa. We have, right? we have uh, you know, I've been calling it Armageddon August because yeah, first cause week of August, pretty much every year we generally always deal with something in right. the state. So, and, you, but, and here you are, you're living in the middle of it all. Well, I'd say we're adjacent to the real epicenter, right? Um, and and the people living really in the middle of it are really going through it. So, um, you know, our hearts go to go out yeah. to them, right? Yeah. So Carrie Peterson is the owner of Kahala Burger and Taco, man on the street. Tell us what, what people should, you know, come, when they come to Big Island, if they're being diverted from Maui, what should they do? Um, well, first thing is, is that you should just be grateful that you've got a place to come. That's what we're grateful that we're here and our thoughts and prayers and we're, you know, everything's going out to our, our friends and family over in Maui. Um, but if you're here, try to respect the land, be careful of fire, but enjoy. Get up here for a Big Island grass-fed beef burger. You can support the local com uh, community, can support the people that, that live here. And what I always say is we support the local farmers, bakers, farmers, fishermen. fishermen, and tortilla makers. <laughs> so uh, we hope that we can see you and uh, we're thinking about our friends in Maui. Okay, so uh, as you can see, the fire break did a good job. We're on the north side of the fire here. And uh, what I was surprised on is number one, uh, uh, kudos to all the, the firefighter place. Cause what I saw up there was, there was a lot of houses that uh, looks like that they were in the burn area, but did not get burned, which means that, you know, the, the fire department and the homeowners did a good job of making sure that everything was kept moist and everything like that. And probably the winds weren't too strong and the fire wasn't too big, but it do does make a difference. And, uh, but as you can see, it is burned out here. And uh, this is the area where the winds blow through pretty harsh too. This is the whole uh, wind area of, that we have out here on the Big Island. Okay, so we are here on the other side of Kahala Ranch, and this is uh, where the, the, some of the fire went through, and it was, again, surprising on, hang on, car, truck, I'm by. <laughs> Look at us, we were so man on the street, we're literally on the street man in the... That's right, okay. but, but it was, it, it's very interesting how there were, these houses didn't get burned. I mean, uh, you know, uh, it was, it, it's just, they were in the path, uh, but because it was a brush fire and it, the winds weren't quite as strong, it didn't blow up there, they were able to keep it under control. Yeah, but uh, you know, obviously, um, I'm sure they were terrified. Uh, and also uh, right behind us, you guys, the entrance to the Kala Ranch, you can see that a quarter of their brush, like their, their pretty little <laughs> hedge is all burnt out and the rest is green. Um, I'm sure there were prayers being said during the time of those, you know, people in that Yeah, they were very, uh, area. very very lucky. Yeah, and maybe they were trying to like, you know, hose down their houses and stuff. And, uh, you know, again, first responders are, you know, are rock stars. Um, but if you guys know somebody who, you know, had this, you know, had some a story about what it was like to be in the fires around here, uh, drop them in the comments. Let people know that, you know, there's stories that are happening here as well.
That's right. And that's kind of what we're about is, is going out and ch checking what's going on. I mean, again, it's, it's horrible what happened on, on, on Maui. And I'm glad that we've been able to help out and get some people to donate to, to make things better. Uh, but it, it's also good, you know, to see what's going on here, too. So I, mean, I think something's yes, we, uh, we like to say that we're, uh, we're your news channel because we are one of the few people who actually goes out there and says, let's go like cover the natural disasters or the things that are happening on our island. Um, so uh, with that, we hope that uh, you will subscribe. And hit that notification button because again that subscribe doesn't always get you all of our videos there you go and uh if you guys need more resources about moving to the island or places to see do or the whole thing uh you can go to 365yliving.com and um join the ohana and get some more information we do a, a newsletter we talk about calendar events things that are happening and um, definitely uh, we um want to see you guys uh, get the information you need uh, so you guys can uh, have great vacations but also live here on this island so with that we'll say aloha, aloha.